Hello, welcome back to my video tutorials on GIS. Today we will be doing a tutorial on volume calculations. Calculating volume has a lot of uses in geology because let's say that we want to mine a coal layer so we need to know the volume of overburden that need to be removed before we can get to the coal seam or let's say that we have to build a highway or a building we need to flatten some of the rocks so we need to know how much rock need to be removed or let's say they have a lot of uh, depth taken in a lake or in an ocean you want to know the volume of water in that lake or in that in that ocean so there are a lot of applications so let's get to it uh, before we do that so here is arcmap i activated i will be using a digital elevation model lidar data uh, around lock haven area uh, so i'm adding the dem and i will also be adding just a Clinton County shape file so that we know where we are just for reference here. If we do the global extent, we can see this is in Clinton County, Pennsylvania. This is near our campus here. So what we will be doing is measuring the volume of this white area or the high elevation area here let me change its uh, symbology so that you can see things better so this mountain here so before we do that we need to uh, create some contour lines around it we will be removing the material above the 800 feet contour map both of these maps are in Pennsylvania State Plain coordinates and they have unit of feet. Let me show you that in fact. So you can see if you go to the source that the cell size is 3.22 times 3.2 and it has a, a linear unit of feet right here and it's the Pennsylvania uh, state plan coordinate so let's create some contour lines here for this dem so to do contour lines if you remember you have to go to the special analyst tools and you have to go to the surface and the contours for the input contour we'll be using the pens the lock haven dem data and for output feature class i want to save it at uh, i just want to call it a contour and will be saving into my external drive here you can do whatever you want to contour interval here i know beforehand so i will be using 100 feet contour uh, values because the our values varies between 533 to 1000 and this is the highest area so this value will vary around 800 to 1000 so let's do that once we create the contour lines we will be labeling those contours and select 800 contour line it's going to be contour lines by the way are just polyline feature but we need to create a 800 feet polygon meaning a plane that's as if going through 800 feet through the mountain and we want to calculate the value above it so here we have it so let's uh, let's uh, label those contour so we go to label contour and we want to label the contours here the label field 
and you can change its value to something higher so that you can see i'm changing the color i'm applying and you will see the contour values show up there uh, as the label so you can see this is the 900 contour here and this contour is 800 contour line so i want to select that 800 contour line here so if i just click on this 800 you can see 800 contour line is highlighted so i can simply right click and export the data and i can just uh, call it Eight hundred contour. Yes, I want to add it to my map. So here is the eight hundred contour. You can see I can remove the other contours, and I have my eight hundred contour that is selected. I'll make it a little thick, and so that we can see this better. And you can change the color if you want. So you can see that contour highlighted. Now, as I said, if you want to open its attribute table of that 800 contour, you can see this is polyline. So we need to make a polygon instead. So we need to use, we need to use a uh, data management tool here uh, in the feature and feature to polygon so we will be using the input feature is obviously 800 contour and we just uh, want to uh, give it a name say 800 polygon meaning it's the polygon that goes through 800 contour lines this is a plane that goes through 800 feet above the sea level then we'll be measuring the volume of material above this 800 polygon here 800 here this is all this gray and white area so let's do this so i'm converting into polygon so you can see this is a polygon now and i don't need the contour contours anymore so i can remove those and i will make that polygon hollow so that i can see through better so now i will be making uh, calculating the volume above this 800 polygon to do that we need to use some a uh, tool so first thing that i will be using is a um, raster calculator so special analyst tool here is the map algebra here is the raster calculator i'm using the raster calculator to really uh, subtract the value 800 so that my base value here is zero and whatever the highest value is within that uh, polygon so to do that we will be uh, using the map algebra Eight hundred DEM actually, I need to extract this polygon first before I can do the calculation. So let's extract the polygon only above 800 feet plane or the polygon so to do that we'll be using special analyst toolbox and we'll be using extraction tool and extract by mass. Mask, mask is our 800 polygon. 
so input raster is obviously uh, this uh, lidar data and input is 800 polygon and i want to give it a name that is 800 dm mean there are many all the dm that is above the 800 polygon so let's do this so here are my extracted dem above the 800 uh, polygon so let's change its color symbology rather so here you can see this is the polygon above 800 uh, feet polygon so we want to subtract 800 from it so that is beginning uh, elevation is zero and whatever the highest elevation is within that polygon to do that we need to use the raster calculator so we will be saying the new raster that we are creating is 800 dam minus 800 because 800 is beginning value so i just uh, have to call it delta c values meaning first uh, elevation is really zero there along this line here because i am subtracting 800 from it and whatever the highest value is within that so let's make the i'm calling it delta z uh, dem so here is my delta z z dem you can see that our lowest value here is around zero and highest value here is about 200 so here this slice of land if we consider beginning to be zero and highest point to be about 202 as we discussed in the class we can do it two different ways one is finding the mean height of this dm here and then multiplying by the area of this polygon so let's do that first so mean height if you remember we need to use a statistical tool called statist zonal statistics as table so here we'll be using uh, the 800 polygon as the mass meaning within which we are doing the calculation and input raster is obviously our delta z and uh, you just give it a name we say what we are here it will create a table i'm calling it mean height that's all i want to find out here the mean height it will create a table with the mean height within this zone here so here you have that table you right click on it you open it so you can see mean height is about 82 feet if you start zero as beginning 202 as being highest 82 feet is the mean height within that polygon and then its area the polygon is written right here so what you can do is uh, calculate this uh, area using a calculator just uh, so let's say i'm bringing my calculator out and i just multiply the area which is 47 87 363 363 times uh, mean height is 82.03 equals it's about 392.7 million feet cube 392 million let's remember that number and we will be now determining the volume using another method for that will be using remember individual cell size times individual height of these polygons for example see as we already know that cell size is 3.2 by 3.2 feet let's say that i want to zoom into an area so you can see the individual cells 
this is about 10 square feet and let's say 10 square feet by if i click on this cell it tells you uh, that it's a uh, its uh, height is given somewhere uh, i believe that is uh, clinton county is preventing from doing this so if we do this here is the uh, height you can see 0.32 anyway so let's get the calculator out raster calculator and i will be creating another uh, new raster with individual volumes of each of the cells and then we'll be summing them up all together so i'm going to call it integrated volume that new raster that i'm creating i'll be creating using this delta z times 3.2 times 3.2 that's 3.2 times 3.2 this is really just the uh, area of one cell and i am multiplying by all of the cells with this value so let's do that so we have that a new uh, raster that we created let's zoom to it so we can actually change its color again so that we can visualize it better so this this is a new raster that has volume for each of these individual cells to find out what is the total volume if we find you know sum up all these cells within that polygon then again we need to get a help from our friend zonal statistics as table and we are using again the polygon as the mask meaning within which we are um, determining the total volume by summing up all the individual volumes of cells and input raster is obviously just the uh, sorry is the integrated volume that we created and we will be calling this table as uh, sum of volume let's say click okay and it will create a new table showing some of the volume remember our previous method gave us 392 million cubic feet open this so here is the new volume 392.7 cubic feet right on so both methods showed the same volume desktop here 